What's up mushroom fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. Today I am exploring an age-old question on the differences between a 21 and a half quart all-American pressure cooker versus a 23 quart Presto pressure cooker. So we're gonna run a side-by-side -side test on two of the most prominent pressure cookers in mushroom farming. And we're going to be using the uh, CADCO burner. So if you haven't seen the video on all the necessary equipment for a mushroom lab, go check out that video and then come back and we'll be exploring the differences between the All-American and the Presto. So besides the price point, um, there's a few differences right off the bat. So the All-American has a really nice solid grade steel. It has a metal on metal gasket compared to the Presto, which has this rubber gasket. It's a little bit more lightweight, um, which we'll, we'll see what, what that does to the cook times. Um, we're gonna test that out because I've been using this Presto for about five years now, and I've had to replace the gasket maybe once or twice, and I was uh, lucky enough to get a really good deal on one of these all americans so we're just going to run these side by side today doing our grain spawn so each cooker can fit six two and a half pound grain bags um, i'll post a link to these unicorn bags as well and then we put two liters of water in the bottom of the cooker and when we clamp on the lids and turn on the heat it will turn that water into steam and then that will sterilize our grain spawn so we can add our mushroom mycelium. So I'll go ahead and put the lids on these two um, cookers and put them to the test. All right. So it seems like there's these little hooks here that kind of clamp down. This is my first time using the All-American. And then it has these um, wing nuts on it. And according to the manufacturer, you're supposed to do it like a car tire. So you want to do it opposite sides so that it clamps down evenly. definitely feels really secure. Alright, so then this is the pressure gauge here which determines the PSI and this weight has different weights for different PSI so we're going to set it to 15 um, so that's kind of nice that it will automatically keep that pressure and it's got a really nice handle on it compared to the Prestos, which have these two handles on the side. And this is really easy. You just have to line up this uh, little wing right here with this groove in the lid. And then it has a little arrow here that you line up with that. So I always make sure that the gaskets are nice and smooth before I go ahead and close the lid. And then one more thing to point out, is that you want to make sure that um, these gaskets on the underside aren't touching the grain bags which the all-american has a really nice smooth uh, interior to the lid all right so both of these are connected to the same 20 amp circuit and we're gonna go ahead and turn these on and um, see what one heats up to psi or pressure first and then we run these for 90 minutes. Um, if you're interested in our grain prep, go check out that video as well. Um, this is just a comparison for the cook times. All right, so you can see here, it's been 30 minutes and the All-American already started pressurizing. So you can hear the uh, rubber valve is holding pressure. And this one is at two PSI where the Presto, it just started pressurizing, but it's still holding zero. 
So 30 minutes in, the All-American is pressurizing a little faster. All right, guys, so it's 42 minutes in, and our uh, Presto just pressurized, and the All-American is about at 6 PSI already. So one thing I like to recommend is uh, having an extra screwdriver on hand. Sometimes this uh, valve will start to bubble, so you can use the screwdriver to help it along, or you can um, use this as well to open the All-American after it cools. So one thing that I wanted to mention um, is that the All-American is a metal-to-metal -metal gasket, so sometimes you can put a grease on there to help it come off easier, but otherwise um, a screwdriver is a really handy tool for using these. All right, so it just hit the one hour mark and the All-American is just about at temperature and the Presto is hanging around 10 PSI. So you can hear the weight is just starting to jiggle. That means that it's just about at pressure and the Presto is slightly behind. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start that timer for 90 minutes on the um, All-American and then we'll see how far behind the Presto gets. All right, so it's an hour and 20 minutes in and the Presto just hit pressure and temp. So what I like to do is I'll just dial these back to a medium high and that way it's not forcing extra steam out. Uh, the, the sweet spot will be if you can get that rattle to just barely stay where it is which it helps a lot to have these uh, coiled CADCO burners compared to like uh, a propane tank that's heating with a flame. I think it's a little more stable. So it's holding 15 PSI. I'll put the other timer on for the Presto, but it seems like the All-American heated and sterilized about 20 minutes faster than the Presto. So the 90 minutes is up. It's a little bit steamy in my uh, sterilization shed um, right now, so I'm gonna talk from out here. But the uh, benefit of the All-American is that it can cool um, just sitting on that burner, so I'll just turn that off. And then the Presto's got 20 minutes left, but once that's done, I like to set that on the bench top in front of the flow hood, because as the, the air cools, it doesn't have a backflow preventer. So that front valve um, that lets you know it's pressurized can potentially suck air in even though the bags are pretty sealed. Um, it's extra precaution that I take to just put that on the bench top. All right, so I'll go ahead and shut off that one and once the 20 minutes is up, I'll put that in front of the flow hood as well. Got the two cookers cooling on the bench top here. The All American is already down to five, so this one will probably be ready about 20 minutes early. And then the Presto just came off, so I guess that's a benefit is that um, if you had to leave it on the burner, you could, or else I thought it would be more fair to let it cool in front of the flow hood because maybe that helps it cool faster. So they're both cooled down to zero PSI. I'm gonna open them up and let's see how they did. So this one's really easy. It just kind of pops off. And you can see the bags turned out really nice. I'm just gonna lay them in front of flow it to cool off.
they look very similar. No exploded grains, really good results. It's still some residual water. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video on the comparison between All American versus Presto pressure cooker. So the All-American coming just under $420 heats up 20 minutes faster than the Presto. Um, it has the variable weight setting and the backflow valve. Uh, it has a metal on metal lid and it's made in America while the Presto is made in China at just under $140. It saves you about $280 and Technically, you could have three for the price of one All-American. Um, it has a rubber gasket, which runs about $21.66 that needs replacing every couple years. Uh, and it runs 20 minutes longer than the All-American. So how valuable is your time? How valuable is that 20 minutes? Um, that's for you to decide as a mushroom farmer or a hobbyist. Both pieces of equipment are great and pivotal pieces to any mushroom farm. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. And uh, check out the links in the description below if you're interested in buying one of these. Um, and then check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi, if you're looking for top quality genetics or other uh, pieces of mushroom gear. All right, guys, until next time, much love.